Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How's your week going? Blessed week. We want to thank God for another new week. So, today is a bright new day and we want to give God glory. We want to give God thanks for waking us up early this morning. We want to appreciate Him for His marvelous gift in our life. That is the bread of life. Thank God for his mercies. Thank God for forgiveness of sins. Thank God for moving us forward. We want to appreciate him for the little he has been doing in our life. We want to thank God for all he has done this morning and which he continues to do in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bring you the word of God from Psalms chapter 63. That is what I will be reading today because I just want to make a short video just to seek the face of the Lord this morning with you guys and may the Spirit of God guide you and lead you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And Psalm 63 verse 1 says, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul tested for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followed hard after thee thy right hand upholded me but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth they shall fall by the sword they shall be a portion for foxes but the king shall rejoice in god everyone that sweareth by him shall glory but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped so what is this Bible test trying to incline in our heart is to let us to know the joy of being fellowshipping with God, the joy of being giving God thanks, the joy of being giving God songs of David, songs of glory, songs of uh, power and strength that will give you the, the, the signs that you will see how God's power will be manifesting in the life of we, the believer. Because, and this Psalm 63 is trying to illustrate how we seek God daily, how we seek God early in the morning, how we pray every now and then to see how God's power through prayer through prayer, which answereth all things in our life when we come to bow before the Lord. Because God in his infinite mercy has given us the power to pray. He has given us the power to seek him daily, every day, every morning, every hour. Because he is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He has done so many good things in our life for us to know how his word works in our life. The Bible has stated it clearly that because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. So, and this is how God wants us believers to anchor onto his word, to praise him, to sing joyful songs unto him. And he has given us this power of this word to know how 
He has satisfied our soul with goodness, satisfied our soul with greatness, satisfied our soul with everything on the face of the earth. That we, when, when, when we call upon him, he's there to give all those things unto us. So this Bible text has given us the, the, the powerful uh, uh, word to know how joyful we shall be when we continue to remember and meditate on the word of God. So as a believer, do you always meditate on the word of God? Do you always pray? Pray yourself out so that you might regain power, regain strength, regain redemption that will lead you to your glory, glorious uh, uh, redemption that will make you to be satisfied through the word of God. So the word of God has given us insight to know how we can pray, how we can seek him, how we can be thirsty for God. So may the Lord continue to open your eyes to read more and more of this word of God that will bless your soul and give you the grace to continue the will of our Father, which is Jesus Christ, that has come to pay the price for us. So always read your Bible, always anchor to the word, and you will see how glorified God will be in your life in Jesus' name. God bless you and stay blessed. God bless you and have a wonderful week ahead. God bless your hands.